What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. So the global version of the Xiaomi Mi 11 was finally released today and I've been using this particular one for just over a week. But before this one I was actually using the Chinese version of the Mi 11, so I had plenty of time to spend with the Mi 11. Now, the Samsung Galaxy S21 was also released not that long ago and um, if you've seen any of the videos that I've done for the S21, I've said that the S21 is one of the best phones that Samsung has made in quite some time and that's definitely true. Now, since I was able to use both phones at the same time for a few weeks, I feel that I'm in the great position to actually tell you which phone offers the best value for your money and which one is the better phone overall. So we are starting with the price. Well, out of the two, the Xiaomi Mi 11 is the cheaper one, but keep in mind that there are three models of S21. We have the regular S21, which is this one. We have the S21 Plus, which is a bit bigger. And then we have the S21 Ultra, which has um, better cameras, etc. So the fairest comparison would have been between the S21 Plus and the Mi 11. And of course, if that's the case, there is a big price difference in between the two, even though we get the same specs. So both devices have the Snapdragon 888, 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage, and neither device supports um, an SD card. Now, if you look at them and um, you feel the way they actually feel in your hand, the Mi 11 does feel much more expensive and much more premium. And that has a lot to do with the fact that on the back here we have glass. On the back of the S21 we actually have cheap plastic. So when you pick up the S21 it almost feels like a toy, where um, when you pick up the Mi 11 it feels like a more premium um, device. By now you've probably heard that the Samsung Galaxy S21 doesn't actually come with a charger in the box. Supposedly Samsung is saving up the planet by um, not including chargers to their phones. Let's be real here, Samsung is just saving themselves money by not including chargers. So the Mi 11 you do get a fast charger for your phone. And talking about fast charging, the Mi 11 also charges more than twice faster than the S21. So with the Mi 11 you need about 45 minutes to charge it from 0 to 100, where with the S21 you need about an hour and 15 minutes to charge it from 0 to 100. So much faster charging on the Mi 11. They both support um, wireless charging, but once again, the Mi 11 charges much faster um, on a wireless charger, depending on the wireless charger um, that you have, of course. Now, for battery life, uh, they are about the same. I can't really say that one is better than the other one. So you can get between six and eight hours on both devices um, on one charge, and that's kind of um, the norm for flagships these days. So for battery life, not that big of a difference. The next big difference between these two is the screen and I'm not talking about the screen size because you could easily buy the larger S21 Plus and then we'd have similarly sized screens. No, I'm talking about the screen resolution on the Mi 11. So the Mi 11 will get a much higher resolution so whenever you're watching videos, reading text, you will get a better experience from the Mi 11. Not to mention the screen on the Mi 11 actually gets brighter than the screen on the S21 or the S21 Plus. And I think this is the first time I say that a device has a brighter screen than a Samsung phone. So definitely a first. They both use AMOLED screens and they both have high refresh rates. But overall I would say that the Mi 11 has the better screen out of the two. Next we are moving on to speakers. So they both have dual speakers. One at the top, one at the bottom. It's the same on the S21, one at the top, one at the bottom. Keep in mind that um, with the Mi 11 we also get an IR blaster. So you can use the Mi 11 as a remote control for your TV just to give um, you an example. Personally I'm not gonna use that that much but it's definitely there. Alright and going back to our speakers I'm gonna show you a quick example so you can hear how the speakers on the Mi 11 sound and how the speakers on the S21 sound. I personally find the speakers on the Mi 11 a bit fuller and a bit louder. So maybe turn down the volume so if you're using headphones it's not um, too loud for your ears. So let's hear a couple of um, examples so you can hear how the speakers sound on them. Lions roaring in the morning sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come we must never stop the way, yeah. Birds chirping and I hear my name. Lions roaring in the morning sun. Searching for the longer day. People feeling like the light has just come. We must never stop the way. Birds 
Next we are talking about cameras and more specifically the cameras on the back of the two devices. So on the back of the Mi 11 we have the main camera, we have an ultra wide lens and then we have a macro lens. Where on the back of the S21 we have the main camera, we have an ultra wide lens and then we have a telephoto lens. Now personally I find that I use a telephoto lens way more than a macro lens, even though at times it's nice to have the option to take those macro shots, but overall I do prefer a telephoto lens on the back of my device. I've also done a camera comparison between these two and the iPhone 12 and I will leave a link to that in the video's description or the top right corner. I think I have about 100 pictures and videos in there, so definitely check out that video if you want to see more um, examples. But overall I feel that the S21 does a bit better for cameras than the Mi 11. Definitely check out that comparison video and find out for yourselves. Oh, and I forgot to talk about the in-screen fingerprint scanners. So the Mi 11 and the S21 both have in-screen fingerprint scanners and they're almost as quick on both devices. This is an example just so you can see how um, well um, each device unlocks um, from um, a lock screen basically. So you just have to touch the screen and then um, the phone unlocks. And I guess they're kind of equal. Maybe the Mi 11 is a bit faster in some of those um, unlockings, but overall fairly similar in-screen fingerprint scanners. Next we are talking about the operating system. So both devices run Android 11 and on top of that Xiaomi is using MIUI 12 or Samsung is using One UI 3.1. Now compared to what we used to have on Xiaomi phones 4 years ago and what we used to have on Samsung phones about 4 years ago, both feel very much grown up I'm gonna say. So they're both lean, very fast, very efficient. So I don't think you can go wrong with either device. So it comes down to your personal preference. I personally feel that I like MIUI just a bit more just because it has a few more features. But some people may not like those extra features um, and they may actually prefer um, the One UI from Samsung. So I don't think you can go wrong with either device. Now, if you'd be to run the Antutu benchmark on both devices, the Mi 11 does get a somewhat higher score. And even though that score is higher, you aren't actually gonna notice a difference in performance. So they both open apps just as fast, all the games work just as good. So you can't really notice any difference in performance. Keep in mind, they have the same processor, the same RAM, the same internal storage. So you can't really go wrong with either. Now, I did notice that if you play games for a long period of time, the Mi 11 will get hotter than the Samsung Galaxy S21. And if you play long enough, the Mi 11 will actually start dimming the screen. It gets that hot. So I feel that if you play a lot of games, maybe a Samsung device will be a bit better for you because it doesn't get hot as quick as the Mi 11. The Mi 11 does um, seem to get a bit hotter. But if you don't play games, you're probably never gonna experience that. So it is entirely up to you and what you do with your device. So to quickly conclude this video, if you're looking for the phone that offers the best value for your money, I feel that the Mi 11 does much better than the Samsung Galaxy S21 and of course the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus. You basically get more for your money with the Mi 11 than you get on the S21. Alright guys, if you do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer um, whatever questions you may have. If you did like the video, don't forget to press that like button, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.